everybody and welcome to the Turkish capital Ankara. Welcome to the day that all volleyball fans have been waiting for since we started the season. Yes, it's the final of the Denise Bank CV Volleyball Champions League. And the home team, Halpank Ankara, have arrived with a chance to make history. They're up against Belgorje, Belgorod, two times winners of this competition, but who have not won the Champions League for a full decade. Well, the Hangbank Ankara team contains players that have been winning this competition and all the best in the world for quite a few years. They're coached by the man who coached them at Trento. Yes, about three quarters of this Hangbank team came from northern Italy. They were brought en masse with Radostin Sochev at the start of the season. And, well, they've done what they were asked to do. They've got to the final of the European Champions League in an attempt to take Turkish men's volleyball back to the glory days of the mid-90s. Hangbank Sport Kulubulu. They've got their Bulgarian fans here cheering on the coach who is from Bulgaria, of course. Russian team, well, they have a top side themselves. And the same coach that won two Champions Leagues with them back in the early part of the last decade. Supporters in and ready. They're waiting for what should be a party in the house today. There is the man who has won this competition before with Trento. He picked up players such as Juric, Juan Torena, Rafael. He's brought them all the way to the Turkish capital. There's still no assurance that he'll carry on next year, but for the moment they're hoping to bring the title here to Ankara, the capital of Turkey. Will it be another Russian victory? Last season we had Lokomotiv Novosibirsk take the title. Not just a year after Zenit Kazania had themselves won it. So Belgorje Bolgorod come with a team that is full of quality. Experience is there as well. Sergei Tetyukin, who won the last Olympics with Russia. Now 39, they've got a good Italian setter in the shape of Dragan Travica, the international. The likes of Ilinik as the coach by Gennady Shipulin, who's been around for a long, long time indeed. But what about the opposition, Halban Kankra, with the likes of Kazitsky, Juan Torena, Rafael, Osmani, Juan Torena is the main man. Mitar Juric was strong as well yesterday, but don't forget the Turks, Emre Batur, perhaps man of the match yesterday. Of course, Libero as well, Nuri Shahin in great form. There's the man who is coaching them, Radostin Stoichev. Rumours that he's going to go back to Italy, rumours that he's on his way home to Bulgaria. He'll confirm or deny nothing for the moment. His task is to beat the Russian team who have a few fans. A couple of hundred have come from Belgorod. But everybody behind that man there, Emre Batur, who was so, so strong in the semi-final yesterday. A 3-0 win against Jastromsky Bengal. Polish team have since gone on to take bronze by beating Zenit Kazani in the bronze medal match today. Nerves, expectation, tension, it's all around here. The thing that Hulkbank will have behind them, apart from that huge pressure on their shoulders, is the fact that they have a fervent Turkish crowd. There are fans from Bulgaria we've seen who've come to support the coach Stoichev. There are 13 supporters who travelled from Trento in northern Italy to support their former players and coach. It's an amazing turnout and several thousand from Ankara and all around Turkey who have come to see if finally a men's team from Turkey can win the CV Champions League for the first time. So they're trying to make history, they're one step from home glory. Turkish volleyball perhaps on to a special day. Well, he said he's hoping, well, he's expecting a different match today. Indisputable quality on the other side of the net. The likes of Tetyukin, Ilinik, Dimitri Mudzerski, we haven't even mentioned the 2 meter 18 tall, absolute giant of the Russian national team yet. He was in good form yesterday, but you expect him to be. He's a top man, opposite position, well covered as well with the likes of uh, Jurgi Kosa from Germany. And there is Mauricio, one of the foreign imports that's been brought in during the off-season. Turkish flags are waving for the moment. Hulk Bunk, the company that owns the team since its formation in 1983. The club is now 30 years old, looking for its first European title. Well, they took the CV Cup last year, of course. This, though, an altogether different matter. It's the biggest game of many of these players' lives. The pressure on that man's shoulders as well. He's been here and done it before. Good to see that the Polish supporters have stayed in to watch the final. 
as they will wish that they were there. But nevertheless, they'll be extremely happy with the bronze medal they picked up earlier on today. So Hang Bang will play in white today. Their colours of white and blue with the grey, white and red of Belgorje Belgorod. And we are almost ready. Almost game time in the Champions League final. Once a year, this special event comes around. It's come around again. And the atmosphere is absolutely huge. Matej Kaczynski is captain teams to this title before. Can he produce it over the next few sets? It's going to be a big test. Up against, probably, name for name, skill for skill. The best team in the tournament so far this year. Belgorje Belgorod, they're second in the Russian League, just a point behind Zenit Kazan, but they're top of their own section. Remember, the Russian League divided into two. Halbank haven't really been tested too much domestically. Arkaspor have dropped their level. The former Turkish champions from Izmir in the last couple of years. Yesterday, they came into the match not knowing where their level was at, having not competed in Europe since December. Remember, if you host the Final Four, you don't play in the playoff rounds. But yesterday, they found out they're at the top. They are where they need to be. Do they have what it takes to pick up the win today? And just listen to this, soak it in. This is a very special atmosphere. Seven and a half thousand packed into this Bashkent volleyball arena. From all walks of life, united behind one cause. Russian team will have their support. They're nestled in the corner, the left-hand side as you look at the picture in a moment. There's a handshake, but now it is down to business. There he is, the Jose Mourinho volleyball, Anastin Sochev. The coach, an ex-player, even an entrepreneur in his spare time. Successful, meticulous in everything he does, and he pulled it off today. He'll certainly be the hero of the town if he does. That's the same coach, the reserve set of the number 11. Shakes hand with Dragan Travitsa there. And Ilyan Yik, that number 15, look out for him. Some flying attacks from the back row in the semi yesterday in the Russian derby where they defeated Zenit Kazanya. Today they're not just up against a team, they're up against the whole nation. So we're not expecting any surprises in the starting six. Quick look around, we certainly expect the same teams to start in start the semi finals. Our team in the middle is this one. Philippe Verrec of France is our first referee. And he'll be assisted by Mr. Jura Mokri of Slovakia on your right hand side. Support's been building all day long. We've had dancing, we've had songs and celebration. And we're about to meet the players who will attempt to do them proud. First of all, it will be the Russians. Time to see their starting six then. Final handshake. And they will begin with Bogomolov in the middle. Ted Chukin, who's such a strong presence. He wears number eight. Number nine is Georgi Grosse, the German international. 13, the giant from Russia, Dmitry Muzetsky. 2 meters 18 tall. Ilinik is 15. Travitsa will be the set of the Italian. And the Libero, well, he wears number 10, and it's Bragin. Listen to that. So, time to go with the tried and tested starting six for Halfbank Ankara. Matej Kaczynski, who's the captain. Uzmani Juan Torena, such a huge presence in the opposite. Rafael, what a setter he is, 34 years of age, the Brazilian. Emre Batur, an excellent receive hitter. Mauricio plays in the middle, Juric can play just about anywhere. This is a top team, and it has Nuri Shahin in the libero. Final team talk from the now Italian registered Osmani Juan Torena, the Cuban. Plays his international volleyball for Italy. So this is how they'll line up, Kaczynski in the middle, 
Juan Torrena on the watch, as is Emre Batur. Rafael is there as well. The number seven trying to set them to victory. It's time to say hello to Rit Oms as well, who is our CV supervisor. She'll be overseeing everything and making sure that everybody's on their best behavior. Well, Belgorje, Belgorod, such a strong side. Fravica is the man attempting to do the damage. He had a great game setting in the semi-final yesterday. The only problem that we saw from Belgorje, Belgorod it was all about unforced errors on the serve. Immediately we've got a problem with the ball. And if you picture a chat with the coach Shipulin who just wanted to change the ball. And we're finally ready to go. So from the press conference two days ago, remember, a winner is a dreamer who never gives up. Nelson Mandela and Radostin Storchev. First blood to the Turks. Listen to this noise. Juric. It's a venomous serve. Great work from Bragin straight away. Well, Zetsky will take the hit here. Now Travitsa into the corner for Kruzer to have a swing. Oh dear, unforced error number one. Well, I think they want a challenge. Here we go. Second point, first challenge. Now then. I think it might have been worth challenging as well. See what they come up with. Nope. Well, oh, there's no touch on the net. The net seems to move. That's a good angle. Just shows you have to check everything live. It looked as though the net had been absolutely rattled on the block there, but that wasn't the case. Good start of this match. Atmosphere is absolutely electric. Fans on their feet everywhere. And they're going to make it as uncomfortable as popular. Ilinik. I got the desired effect. 3 1. Shipuli knows it's hard today. The Turks behind their team. Juan Torreno with a venomous serve. Tetukin will keep it in. Is Kaczynski. Rafael now sitting high, looking for Juric. And the Greek international looked as though he had it. Tetukin kept it alive. Now Rafael, Juric to go again. This time has the beating of the Libero. Ferocious hit, and what a start. Just have to get the feeling that if you're in the Belogorod Vel camp here, you have to weather the storm. It's a wall of noise. Momentum really with the home team. Got to dig their way into the game. Shut the crowd up somehow. Well, that's one way of doing it. His name's Gurgi Torza. Nice setting. And the big German opposite does his hitting well. Well, Mr. Olympic Games, the man who changed it all in London. Two meters 18 of him, Dimitri Mudziatsky. Ball just avoiding the roof, stays in play with Juan Torena making a mistake. Poor hitting from the man who has his fingers taped up. This is going to be a real contest today. 
Mudziewski. Long. Well, it just shows how popular volleyball can be and is growing. Ticket prices for this event certainly weren't cheap. And it's full packed to the rafters today. He's seen it and done it before. Been around since Adam was a lad. Here's Travis. Nice hit from Bogolov, and he is pumped. Travis is just putting on a plate for the big middle. And that's where they can get at the Turks. They have middle strength for plenty. Rafael. Error coming from Emre. 5-5. Let's go back to what we said a couple of minutes ago. Weather the storm, get on the board, get in the game. That's what they've done. And the atmosphere is going to remain cauldron-like throughout the game. Uh, there are picks and troughs to it. 5-5, Pausa now on serve. Nice reception from Kaczynski. Juan Torena puts away. It is 6-5. Rafael, 34, Brazilian international for uh, a time as well. So much a winner in club volleyball, looks as though there's a mistake being made. Orzel thinks it goes into the corner, will they challenge it? It's pulled out. Ah, well out in the end. 7-5. Lead opens up once more with Rafael on serve. Lovely float into the middle. Travitz is there. Rafael with a save. Now, counter attack chance for the Turkish team. Duric to hit. He's blocked off, and that is an almighty miss for the Greek international. Still a young lad as well, Mitar Duric. Actually born in Bosnia Herzegovina. Played much of his youth career at Olympiakos in Greece. Serve wide from Tetyukin. Eight to six, it has been an explosion of a first little period there. Technical timeout for a breather. Chance for the coaches to get their first pearls of wisdom across to the respective players. So, got your breath back yet? It's been a wonderful start. Like I said right at the top, one step from home glory. I think Belgorje Belgorod have proved that it definitely isn't going to be a roller coaster home in front of their own fans here. Alpine Kiesel pumps with the atmosphere. Belgorod have shown bits of quality though. Looking for their third Champions League title. They're 8 6 down on Juan Torena, just on a bit of a service run here. Well, forget that. Stoichev patrols the touchline, said in the semi-final yesterday. He's up and down that much, he probably does more kilometres than his players during the course of a match. Rafael pushes wide, Kaczynski's going to hit. That's blocked off right onto the line. Belgorod all level. Great reach from Travica. The Italian does his job. Playing against uh, some players you'll know very well from Serie A. Remember Travitsa having success at Macerata over the last few years. Rafael's lovely jump serve, set bottom. 
Juric hammering down. Mantolina. Rafael, that's a hit and a half, that. They enjoyed it as well. Squeezes over the net. Travis Hall rescue. High set, couldn't be anything else from Mudzelski. And goes up. All the pace off the ball. Rolls in into space. Reception. Not what we expect from Matej Kaczynski. Kravitz well, left Italy last year. Kaczynski already saying there's a chance he'll go back to Italy at the end of the season. He says he's got offers from Serie A teams. Kaczynski better with a reception this time. Rafael's going to give it back to the big Bulgarian. Juan Torena now, Kaczynski gets another go, blocked off. Lands just the right side as far as Big Mate is concerned. Of course, carrying on the discourse from a moment ago, if he does go back to Italy, the rumours will increase that he's set to become Italian in terms of international volleyball. Big fallouts with the Bulgarian Federation, remember. It's a venomous serve from Duric. Libero just did enough, Travitz will keep it alive. Rafael now puts it wide, Kaczynski is there, and Hulkbank power themselves in front. All the noise every time they get a point, it's as, well as, it's as though they've won the thing already. Very impressive. There are a few places in the world you'll see such a passionate set of sporting supporters. You reach into the net, that's disappointing. Juan Torreira gets hold of it. Rafael jumps it into perfection out wide. But it's going to be a counter attack chance now into the corner with Quarza. Lovely control from Nuri Shine. Wolves will have another go. Oh dear. Big net touch. Mauricio, the offender this time. It's not all plain sailing here for Holpon. Mudzetsky and Travica getting past the language barrier. Travica, an Italian of uh, Balkan origin. I'm told his Russian's not great yet. Kaczynski trying to put home, Shaheen now having to do the setting. He'll look to try and find Kaczynski, straight off the block and out. Big point that for Hulkbank. We've seen a couple of mistakes from either side. Of course, it's not a surprise that there will be nerves at this time, given everything that's at stake here. Juan Torreira waits on as Kaczynski puts it into the net. Stolchev knows that his voice has yet to hit top form. So a change. A substitution there sees Kaczynski go to the bench to have a chat. Whilst uh, Jan Ivozol comes on. Jan into that back row now. The defensive formation trying to make sure that they get hold of the ball here. Jan there, setting it up nicely. Juric trying to put down, hits into the chest of Mozetsky, and look at the pumped-up nature of that. They'll be feeling the pressure going into this weekend, these guys. A lot of money spent by Hulk Bank. It's a revolution of a team. It is almost like buying in a brand-new team. They're at home. They've got several thousand fans here, millions watching on television all over the world. They're feeling it. 13 each. Travica. Good touch. Juric is going to get another offer here. 
through the middle, worked nicely. And despite the touches from Jan Juric and Mauricio, they couldn't hold on to it. Good connection here between Travitsa and Korsa in particular. Ilinjik with the finish this time. That's certainly a big compliment you can give to Travitsa this season. It's his first season with the team, his first season in Russia. Again, the language skills aren't right up there for him, but he's connected well. Really good combinations with Seder and Hidder. 14 each. So just going long there from Gorza. Something that if he gets it right can be very dangerous, but yesterday he was guilty as charged of sending far too many down or into the net. Aspect of his game that he has to improve today. That's a very good one from Rafael. Put a lot of pace on it from him. Don't usually see that. It's a lovely little cut from Juric, who is on fire in the opening moments here. Playing out of his skin on that opposite side. Took Tetra Keen out of the game like he wasn't there. Entertaining for a second. Rafael, pace on the ball. Well, it's interesting that Stoichev, before this match, was talking up his team serve, said it's the part of the game that we have to get right against Belgorje Belgorod. And we're seeing even Rafael powering those serves across when normally he's very much a float server. Team tactic, well, working for the minute. Juan Torreno's not really got going that much. Again, a fail in his swing. Great blocking, you have to say. Belgorje Belgorod in a good position to upset the party. They lead by 16 to 15, first set. Sergei Tetyukin, born in what is now Uzbekistan back in the days of the Soviet Union. His serve gets the better of a poor Juan Torena today. It's his reception that has given the opportunity to Belgorje to put her in there. giving them a two-point lead. It's their fans who are singing and dancing now. Nine-year-old Tetukin tries to take out Nuri Shahin there. Antorena fails on the hit again. Not his day at the minute. He was excellent 24 hours ago. 18-15 here, and I think we're going to have a timeout. So, Alistin Stoichev, earn your money. Getting a talking to is Juan Torena straight away from Stoichev. We look up on the, the Russian huddle. They'll be very, very happy with things they've had, not just to play against the team, but also face this atmosphere here. Makes their achievement in being three points up all the better. Turkish fans will believe all the way, whatever happens. Rafael wanting more from his teammates in the meantime.
Etchukin. Oh, Juan Torena done on the reception. That's a strong serve. And that could be the first set given away right there. Pat's on the back, but he can't bring the point back. Off the net it comes. Look at what it means to him, even at 39 years of age. Russian volleyball powerhouse, Sergei Tetsukin. Juan Torena. Juric is blocked off. Hogbank have lost their way. Juan Torena up across to what has been their strong link so far. And hot on the heels of the first, we're going to have another timeout. Tetsukin serving run, finds no end. 20 to 15. In the driving seat, Belgorje Belgorod. The power of Belgorod. The serving. Tetsukin really putting the hammer down. This could be a vital period in the match already. All about denting the confidence here of Ankara, never mind just the first set. Another one. They continue to rain down. Another nail in the coffin. And after a solid sort, boy, boy, the atmosphere, Alpha and Ankara have lost their reception. Juan Torrena is going to take him to pieces now. Tetsukin finally into the net and finally there's some respite, but what a period of serving. 39-year-old Sergei Tetsukin. Punching his rivals into submission almost. Now Juan Torrena, can he recover? That's better. Welcome to the game. And the Turkish supporters start to sing and dance again. Not for long, though. It's clever coaching by Shipulin. Two timeouts in hand. Why not have one now? You're not getting any momentum, guys. Top ace, though, from Juan Torrena. You won't want to think about this next serve too much. Good coaching from Shipulin. He'll be happy with his boys. They've done a great job so far. Remember, they've got the experience of the likes of Taras Day still on the bench. He's had a big fitness cloud over him all season. Bagre, Kosalev, Pantele Munenko, and Shigalov as well. Juan Torreno again. Can he back it up? It's a good one. Almost a chance. Nuri Shahim will have a go. But in the end, the point will be given. Juric coming in on the net. Stepping over as well. Cocktail of mistakes. 22-17. Travetsa has given uh, a brief breather. He's been setting so well. Chance to bring on Pantelimonenko. Get him involved, reserve setup. He's into the front row straight away. Takes a touch on the way through. The so Hogbank find their side out. Long. Another who hasn't quite found the form of the semi final yet, Emre Batur. Kravica. Taken down by Shahin. Oh, blocked off again. Gorzar and Mazetsky forming. A lethal partnership. Set point 
And well, you wouldn't have thought this ten minutes ago. Six set points for Belgorje Belgorod. They haven't quite shot the crowd up yet, but they're well on their way to doing so. Pravitsa now. Rafael couldn't be put down. They're going to have the counter chance. It's Kosa. Antorena was in the way. Put home. Set one goes to the Russians. Belgorje Belgorod have performed admirably. They had so much to deal with in that first set. The crowd, the atmosphere, the tension in the air for their quality. But above all, their strength and power has shone through. 24 minutes of incredible action. 25-18, Belgorje Belgorod comfortably ahead. So they won't want to change anything in the second set. They've got a year second in the Russian League, top of their section, set to qualify comfortably for the quarterfinals and the playoffs. Looking for their third Champions League and neutral supporters also in the crowd enjoying what they're seeing. Doesn't have the signs yet of being that historical day for Turkish men's volleyball. Sets. And statistics look like this. Box bossed by the Russians, as you'd expect. Russian team making more errors. Again, we sort of expected that today, but it hasn't hindered them so far. Those aces and that big service run of Tetchikin really blowing Holtbank out of the water. Holtbank had their moments. Certainly they've shown enough to suggest that they have it to turn it round here. But they really need to deal with the serve. They need to deal with the power and height of Belgorje Belgorod. Get hold of the ball. So back we come. Set two. If you missed the first set, you're joining us late, then where have you been? Do not go away. It's been pretty special so far. Money Juan Torena not turning up for duty. Mateka Zitsky also substituted off. The captain having a few poor moments in set one. Alison Stoichev will know that the statistics don't really make pleasant reading. Certainly on serve reception. We're hoping to make an influence here. Remember, they were 4-1 up. They had a great start to the game. Quickly pegged back by the visitors. Can things change now? You expect the crowd to get behind them again here. Bragin the Libero looking for Tetsukin. Zitsky, top serving, nicely rescued. It's Juan Torena with his hit, he's blocked off again. The nightmare continues for the Cuban. He's such a special player that they will persevere with him. Stochev might have to think soon. He's got to do something. No way past at the minute for Usmani Juan Torena. 
left field with most of his swings. Mudzowski. That is a vicious serve. And he's looking good. And if he's on fire, well, you'll see what happened in the Olympic Games. And that was playing out of position. Plays with a good smile on his face as well. It is Mudzowski. Rafael oh, for Juan Torreno, he'll just keep it going. Travitsa now, to Tetsukin. Well, attention. They really have to pay attention here, Hulk Bank. They're in that sort of period without any confidence whatsoever. With Mudzetsky on serve, he could serve them out of the match almost here. They need the crowd, they need to pick themselves up quickly. Mudzet's going to go again, this time goes for the float serve. And messes it up. A let off really for Hulk Park. Tetsukin takes down. Looks to hit again. Oh dear, Kazitsky. Why play at the ball? Why play at the ball? Stood deep in the court. Didn't get a call. Tries to move his team on. Remember, he's the leader. He has to prep himself up here. Mm, well, probably did have to play it on second look. Probably just got a touch on the way through. It's a weak, weak touch. It's 4 2, Belgoye, Belgorod. Rafael, side out finally. Emre is in the game there. Need a spot, a springboard, something to get them going again. Bring the confidence back. The funny game is volleyball. One or two quick points, a kill block here, an ace there. And you can be right at the top and flying again. Here's Rafael now. Tetsukin on his float serve. Fail. Now there's a chance. Juric, someone's got to go for it. It's a Libro in the end, dearie me. Travica. Communication from Hulk Bank. It's all collapsing. Rafael's not happy. And as well as having to play against the height and the power, they're making it easy for the opposition now, Hulk Bank. Chicken. Rafael. Fired down by Emery Batur. A couple of middle hits from him in a row. On to that connection quickly. There's no response or opposition at all the other side of the net. Any more of that. And they need this man to come to play. Travita. Pulls there into the net. 5 5, and Halbank string three points together on the spin. Locked out. Well, what a star Sergei Tetsukin has been. On September 1975, he will be 40 next year. Travica, Ilinik. Question as to whether that would land on the line or not. It's given out. Now the turn. Oh, 
Pogomolov. Petri keeps down there, gets his hand to it. Mozetsky has to set, it's a good one. Once more they can go again. Travitzer this time on the ball, much better for them. Is there a touch? Yes. It's a big one for Belgoria Belgorod. We go to the first technical with the Russian side in the lead again, and the quality really is showing. Coach and assistant coach doing their job well. Gennady Shipulin and Boris Kolchins. Turkish band continue to play. Flags are flying. It's a veritable party atmosphere in here. Absolutely wonderful. The away supporters singing too. There's that small Bulgarian section that you can see. They're boarding Storchev and Kaczynski. And let's not forget those 13 Italians who made the trip to support Hulk Buck. Locked again. It's turning into a special, special performance by what is clearly becoming the best team in Europe this year. Belgorio Bogorod. Ilinik this time. Odzetsky. Was above everybody else. Float serve causing problems. Shaheen is there. Emre getting himself into a right mess. Oh dear. I'm talking of messes. Ilinik really should have put that away. Well, they're wondering if they should challenge it there. Monseski. Obviously, so I go along. Said, well, don't bother, son. Just admit you've had a nightmare there. Laughing away at him. Good to see. Petrukin's down, receiving beautifully. Ilinik gets that right, though. Ten to six, and the jokes continue. They can afford to be like that. They are bossing this game here. Sochev and Hulkbank know they're in trouble. Their play has gone to pot. Travitsa. Juan Torena is Juric. Travitzer to go again. And Rafael. Juric gets his touch. Came off Mozetsky in the end. Side Mauricio over in the corner. Juric. Oh, we're seeing a replay. Nothing they want to watch again, though. 11 7. Juric, Kaczynski. Off the hands of Paul Zer, who's a little unhappy with himself. Twelve eight. So quality hasn't particularly been good from Hogbuck. First half of the first set, they were there. They were certainly living with the opposition, getting their serves in, but been wayward. And that's been kind ever since. Zedsky sends one long this time, just in one of those periods where it seems to catch on between the two teams. Right, 
Sat. Ah, poor. Double touch. Gravity gets pulled up. Bogum will have unhappy as well. 12-10. Mauricio, Travica, Jose, and the German restores the confidence. Jose's turn to go again. Wolves' turn to forget it again, I think. That was the story of his day yesterday. Had a good first set with the hitting, but the serving was yet to turn up for him. And advantage is more manageable here as Mauricio gets a talking to from Storchev. Rafael. Juric is blocked off. So back to within a point. Turkish crowd certainly start to believe again. Once again, it's been hard work. They managed to do it without using any timeouts as well. You can understand maybe a sense for panic once they went behind quickly early on, but they didn't. Belgorje Belgorod still in control though. Now they will take time out. Storchev calls his players in. Well, he's been in good form. So have they as well. They haven't been quiet since the start of the match. <laughs> Ted Chikin takes the ball, remember, he made the difference in set one. It's around this time as well, and that is his first mark there, 15 to 12. Out bank wary, as they should be. Juan Torina taken to the cleaners again. Tetsukin, this is the duel here. Once more it goes over towards the cube, and this time it goes out. But he's eked another point of advantage away. Now Juan Torina needs to respond in turn. Decent Tetsukin responds beautifully, great control. And to is a take. Now Rafael Duric in the corner, blocked off, they've got to go again. Imre setting behind, questionable the contact. Travitza now, out into the corner, blocked brilliantly. Duric is there. Travitza setting a little hard for Ilinik. Here we go again, that's the offending ball, Ilinik not ready for it. Already on his way down, had to tip. Juric watched it beautifully. Is the life in this yet for Halbach? Juan Torena. Beautiful serve. Tetsukin just about deals with it. The poor ball from Bragin. And we're back level. So Juan Torena. A couple of decent serves, that caused problems for Tetsukin. Bragin the libero. Zilinic. Counter-attack chance, this is a chance to take the lead. Kozitski is taking a touch. 
16-15, it is game on again. Well, this Champions League weekend, leaving us no end of surprises. Kaczynski now back into the game as well. The confidence slowly starting to come back. Point by point, you can see it. It seeped into the crowd as well. Stolchev knows it. Juan Torena, all ready to go again. It's a venomous one, Travitz will deal with it. There's Kosa, and that's a cut onto the line. Well sided out. Big moment that for Belgoria Belgorod, the first big test since the opening couple of exchanges. Kaczynski. Now he's in the game. No doubt about it. Storchev pumped as well. Firing instructions across to his Libero Shahin. Emre. Travitsa. One from Travitz. One Torena has it. Quick moment. Oh, they're going to challenge. Techi King says it's wide of the line. Now, is this a momentum stop or does he really think it's gone wide of the line? There it is. Uh, you can understand why he's challenged. Why that will look very close. Just enough of the ball touching the line. Alpank in the lead by one. Juric. It's a high ball that's controlled by Travitsa. Rafael sends it across to Kaczynski. Wonderful play. Absolutely brilliant. Time out taken in the meantime. She pull in, calls them in. Ankara just starting to really get into a stride again. Matej Kazitski. Well, if they can take the set here, the Turkish team, they can scrub out what's gone before and start again. First time in a match, he'll be worried. Fans avoid. Juric. Travica. Lozetsky trying to play it in. 
Rafael was there. Here's Kaczynski again. Bragin. Travic on the ball. Looks for Ilinik. Rafael, big chance here. Juric got it. Three points to lead, and they're in business now. My oh my, do they mean it? Massively important point. There's daylight between the teams now. Look at what he means to them. Juric again. Travica sets wide. It's a mistake. Second time out. Belgorje, Belgorod. Take them back to the bench. Mudzewski, and they needed that. It was required. We're about to see Kosarev in action for the first time. He comes in to replace Ilinik. Briefly appeared in uh, Asset 2, I think it was yesterday, Kosarev. Semi-final victory over Zenit Kazanya. 3 to 1 on that occasion. It's down the line. Oh, he's the star of the show here. Juan Torreno not really turning up for business. Scoring uh, a couple of big serves early on in this set. Juric carrying the workload on that right hand side in the opposite. Fired serve by Kaczynski. They're going to take this set now. Back to the drawing board for the Russians. Bragin done for. We're about to see Taras Tatey come back. He's had nasty fitness problems all year. He'll come back as well from Shaheen Travitz. Rafael on the ball. Juric. He's missed that one. Well, they're going to challenge. I'm not sure it's the right decision. I think it's well long. But we'll find out. Oh, well beyond. Well beyond. It's a waste of a challenge if we ever saw one. Touch either. Twenty three nineteen. John Ivazolu comes in in the meantime for Matej Gazitsky. John the receiver. Zetsky with the serve. It's a good one as well, but Pantorena deals with it. Blocked. Taraste welcomed to the game. So many doubts about whether he's fit or not this weekend. That might have dispelled a few. 
experienced Russian international. Another Olympic winner. Wodzewski. There's a man that can get it back here. He is there. Rafael. Juan Torena. That's going to go out, surely. Rabbit's unhappy the referee was in the way there. The saying coach reserve set on for Rafael. Set point. Rabbit turn at the corner. Side out chances for the set. Quads replaced again. Rafael is back. Calls her to serve. Wow, wonder serve. A wonder serve from Walzer. Where's that been all weekend? Can he find two more of those? Would make it interesting. Time out in the meantime, called by Hull Park. The second of this set, the final one. Hull Park are nearly there. They really had to fight for this set. Looked in trouble at the start of it. On Torreina now, taken well by the Libro, counter-attack chance now, up into the corner. Rafael, this could be it, Juan Torreina blocked, it goes out, it's 1-1! Hug by Kankara, really digging deep and having a fight. She pulled inside, pegged back. They looked for a very, very scary moment for the home side. And they may well go down and capitulate at the start of that set. But they fought hard, they dug in, they showed character. Not playing their best, but almost 30 minutes later. 25-22 the score. And after an hour of this match, Alpine Kankara won. Belgorje, Belgorod won. It's the fight for the European Cup, the Champions League. Live here will join us again in just a minute's time. Statistics from set two. Hogbank making more errors again. Gorier blocking. Those points won in important moments, really. Hogbank. Better on reception. That scares. Have to fight their way through. Feel character you feel pushing them through.
looking into those statistics was Mani Juan Tarena, 20% in attack. Most of their errors from Hulkbank, that's where they've come from. 20% in attack for Juan Torena. Possibly the worst performance I've ever seen from the Cuban. Needs to up his game. Always will feel responsible in part as a setter there. Old man really is pulling his weight as Jurich as we get some alternative entertainment in the crowd. Supporters enjoying themselves as well. Time for laughing. Come and gone though. It's time for set three. Now looking around to see if we see any major changes. There's no changes for Hogbank. Pantorena stays there. And of course, no real need to make a change if you're of a del good old persuasion. Travitsa. Good start. Juan Torena keeping this alive. Has to be hit here, third touch. Emre. Double touch. Travitsa's good start. I find, of course, so many problems for themselves throughout this game, though. We've got the errors from Juan Torena. Look at this. Leave it up. Pushing Emre out the way, trying to get to the ball to set it. Travica. Rafael Juric, hard hitting stuff from him. away this is white and they touching on the way down it's certainly not been the same play we saw yesterday former Fenerbahce player Ilinik goes into the net is not Juan Torena today. Somebody aside needs to take a word. I repeat, 20% in attack. That's not a service star, which hasn't been great either. He's having a poor game. Jetski. Trying to aim at Kaczynski down the line. Wolza uh, does enough that. It's the better of Kaczynski and Mauricio. And Mauricio, another in the middle who really hasn't got into it. Russian fans making themselves heard. Oh, 
interesting period of the match here. Both teams almost starting again from scratch with the 1-1. Trying to get a bit of momentum going. Trying to stop the other siding out. Ilinik off the shoulders of Kazitsky. Tetjikin serve. Rafael, it's for Juric. Just about gets it in. No challenge, they're watching it from the bench. Rafael Tetsukin Rafael Juric well, He's bringing the power to combat the opposition Volomolov Smacked out the game there Try and control that Six six. Both sides still having a look at each other, really, in this third set. Torena gets a swing right. Things are looking up. It's beautifully between the blockers, didn't really get time to form any sort of fixed presence. Wozetsky and Gorza, 7-7. Seven, seven. Nicely done by Gorzitski, kept it alive, Wozetsky will finish that off though. 8-7, first technical. <laughs> so, gents, to congratulate them surely on making this a more difficult game than it certainly was for Belgorod, but Mark Bank has still got a lot to do. Our supporters will know that, but they're doing the best to give the encouragement out. <laughs> Finally, a smile from Stoichev. that his players aren't at the best so far today. If he can get them to hit top form, it could be a different game. Ilinik for Belgorod. Rafael Juric is blocked off and Kulza is there in the way. Belgorod have the lead. Zetsky, Tetrakin. <laughs> the 
<laughs> he enjoyed that. Great expression. But why from Juric, who fails again, not his moment. And we're seeing a little period close to what we saw in set one. Good strong service run. Errors from Hagbunk, this time most of them from the hand of Juric. They've called timeout. <laughs> Russian team ahead. Belgorje Belgorod. 11, Hagbunk can't go to seven, and uh, Mikhail Juric needing a bit of a breather. Chef wanting his team just to play. He knows they can play volleyball. That's what they need to see from Juric. An image from some time back, though. Good reception by Kaczynski. Juric having a chance to get it right again. Travitz is there. Walls there. Shahin, Juan Torena. Travitz a bumps up. Tetyukin, wasted opportunity really for the Russian team, Belgorod. Has to be watched, it isn't. And Juan Torena places it beautifully in the hole. Nobody covering behind the block. It tends to happen late in a rally, people get more out of position. Tetukin. Well, of that, absolutely venomous. He has been an animal this weekend. Certainly today, so strong. Lovely setting from Travitz, uh, hitting around the block, not really taking it on Tetukin. Certainly beaten the Libera. Glad to see a change. Juric being replaced by Burutai. Gurutai Subasha. The former Arkasman. Rafael. Emre puts it long. And they want to challenge it. He's asking to challenge it. Say you can't. Yellow card to the coach. Oh, it's long. Well, Slochev getting himself in trouble. Slowed the game down. Maybe that was his aim. You never know. Belgorier, Belgorod, five up here. Hulkbang and Danger losing themselves in this. Uh... Third set. Now Rafael, back row attack, came from Juan Torena, slowly starting to work himself into more positive statistics. Tetsu Keen's influence reigning over everybody else's at the moment. Yes, he got his block wrong there, disappointed with it, but he has been immense. 
too tight. Tetchikin, yet another example of what he's good at. Nuri Shahin hasn't really hit the same heights like the rest of his teammates as he did 24 hours ago. He is a top libero. Not sure he gets so much at the moment. He's to forget it. Petrukin. Travitsa. Horza burns the line. Well, second technical and the third set is looking like it's almost gone for Hulkbank Ankara. They're a long, long way off the pace here now. They need some choice, special words from Radostin Stoichev. 16-10. Horza really fighting his form today. No complaints there, they'll be very happy with how it's going. Ten years they've been waiting for another chance to crack this. They'll consider themselves with a golden opportunity now. Narrowly lost that second set. Really bossing it again in the third. And an angry Juan Torena, a disappointed Matej Kaczynski, symptomatic of the team's performance on the day. Burutai with the reception. Lost enough. Kaczynski and Mauricio there. They got a side out. Now have to produce off the serve. Time for substitution whilst we wait for the serve. Taraste comes on for Dragan Travica. They have the serve. Tay's going into the front row, and there's some real height in there now. A good serve here. And a setup could produce a big block. Let's see. Mozeski right in the center. The thing about Mozeski is he's also mobile. He's coordinated. Tetchikin <laughs> in the meantime there. Absolutely spent on the ground. Substitution will be reversed as we see the replay. Tate goes off and Travica comes back. It's Mauricio. Brazilian international. Kravitzer, Mudzetsky. Well, this lead of six does not look in danger at all. If you're a Turkish volleyball fan, it might be time to look away. It's not pretty at the minute. Kravitzer. Kaczynski just keeps it alive, almost did himself... Uh, an injury on the bench there. And he'll be happy he kept it alive because Mazetsky's missed the line. And they're going to challenge it. <laughs> it's been changed. And that's why. Well on the line, that's a poor, poor decision by the line judge, you have to say. Good challenge. Rafael blocks. 
No chance of a comeback this set. 12 to 20. Juan Torrena really hasn't got on his feet today. Jose is hitting has been excellent. His blocking has been very big. The only thing that's been missing has been served from him. Rafael. A rare hit from Emre. Compared to his performance yesterday, they really are night and day. It's fair to say that Belgoria Belgorod have also improved upon their performance yesterday. They were good on Saturday, they just got better on here Sunday afternoon here. Mudzetsky, Nuri Shahin is down. Locked off again, kept alive by Kazitsky. Burutai. Travica. Up into the corner for Gorza. Beautiful. Oh, it's no end of the advantage here. Hussein Koch is going to come on for Rafael. Ivazolu, Chan Ivazolu will replace Usmani Juan Torena. Well, Radostin Stojev knows the set is gone. He's not watching the action here. He's having a chat with Rafael, his setter. Trying to sort things out. Looking to the next set. Here's Travica. Jose yet again. We're going to take time out. And now he's going to have a minute to talk to Mauricio. He's setting up the comeback from 2 1 down. Which he has to do now. Rennestin Storcher, various. The set is gone. 22 to 13. Albank are being outplayed. Russian fans enjoying themselves. They've every reason to do as well. Their team is playing like a European champion already. Is Ilinik, Dimitri Ilinik, Hussein coach, John, Horza. And that skill reach. Can't put it away though. And that's better from Emre. A rare moment of pride snatched back from the Turkish team. Dimitri Linyik for Alexander Kosarev. within two points. Time for a sub. Vesul coming on for Emre, who's rested. In the meantime, Mazetsky serves before the whistle. Gets himself in a little bit of trouble. Vesul Tekeli. Number 15 is on. Budzeski serve. Wide. Wants to challenge it. He's being told not to waste the time. They have enough of a lead. Ten points. And he doesn't have to. The referee overrules it. Or does he? No. Well, everyone's getting a bit confused. It is challenged. For a moment, though, they changed the scoreboard to say it had already gone for him. Let's have a look. And it is challenged well. Modeski knew what he was doing. That's why it's challenged. The line judge not popular at the minute. Set point. 
Wojcicki. Again, not hearing the whistle. Stoichev, in the meantime, asking for him to see a yellow card. The gamesmanship there from the Bulgarian. Ten set points for Dmitry Mudzetsky. And Belgoria Belgorod. Into the net. Well, two on the spin for Hulkbank. Any sense of momentum that they can get hold of will do them good and certainly help them going into the next set. That's what they need. They need the confidence back. A game plan for set four. Tetjukin, block out, 2-1, thoroughly deserved. Wonderful set play by Belgorje Belgorod. They just had too much for the home team. And Hulkpak Ankara need to win this next set. Well, they will indeed not be winning the Champions League. 2 1, just 24 minutes for that third set. 25 to 16. Belgorje Belgorod looking strong. Statistics from set three look as follows. They've got here, Bilgoda actually committing more errors than Hartbank. Not getting the chance to commit too many. Didn't really get hold of the ball. They've got here looking strong and Hartbank, well, just not been able to live with the opposition. They have to turn it around. Or it will be the Champions League title for a third time for Belgurie Belgorod. High fives, low fives, plenty of celebration already. Smiles are plenty amongst the Belgoria Belgorod team. Rajasin Stoichev, well, he's known for the last 10 minutes or so that they would have to win two sets in a row to do it here. It's certainly been done before, but they need to raise their game. Matej Kaczynski will have the support of the whole crowd here. They need to harness it and do something special. Here we go. Travitsa. Mudzerski. 
well. No uh, matter how much you try, if you have that on the other end, then you don't stand much of a chance. Well, no resistance in the middle there. All the big guns are back, by the way, in this particular set for the Turkish team. No changes for Belgorod. A reach over. Yeah, it looks pretty obvious. There's no need to go for it. It was silly from Georgi Gorza. Here we go again. Taking it out of the way of Juan Torena. Right decision. Tetsukin. Here's Travitsa. Tetsukin. Misses. Straight away they go to challenge. Oh, they look convinced again. We've seen uh, the line judges have Turkish tinted spectacles over the last uh, couple of decisions. Let's see if it's to be the case again. Sounds as though the ball might be out. Wait for confirmation. Ball is called out. Well. Wow. Oh, that's strange. On the replay, we're saying there. The ball is in. That's bizarre. That is bizarre. ball was in and they're still arguing it now behind uh, whilst we see this next point played the Russian substitutes talking he knows it's in he knows it's in absolute disbelief here well we have to move on 2-2 Rafael, Juan Torena, that's an antenna touch somewhere. And that will be a Russian point. Oh. Okay, Matt, I didn't see them before, that's absolutely bizarre. Ball stays in by a country mile. The challenge system gets it wrong. That's difficult, difficult to take in, to be honest. Everybody down here in the commentary box and in the substitute spot still shaking their heads. That's a good hit in the meantime, kept alive though. Emre can be unlucky there. Rafael, lovely save, pulls us down. Jurich, they're really fighting for it here. Juan Torena, off the head. Travica, in to take control. Poor ball though, a very poor set. Looked like it could have been a contact error. Doesn't matter at all because Emre hammers down. for Bragin, who seems to have hurt his knee. Nice hit from Emre through the middle, though. Oh, that bizarre incident. Can it lend some fuel to the fire for the Turkish supporters? 3-3, Three -three. their team needs them. Travica. Rafael. Juan Torena. Travitz again. Oh, wonderful. That's going to end up on a YouTube compilation. That is special. Brilliantly done. Dragan Travitz. Italian star with a star set in the space. Tetschikin now. Four 
four. Pantorena. Nicely dug out. Pulls it, has to change his positioning. It's hard though. Pantorena will keep it alive. Rafael blocked off in the corner. Ilinik climbing like a beast. Absolutely superb. Great reach. Juric has not been the same Juric since the opening exchanges. Russian crowd making themselves heard. Not an easy task today. Rafael. Juric. Rafael will go again. Narekazitsky. Kozer. Travica. Kozer blocked off and Kaczynski comes to the body. Brilliantly done by the Bulgarian. Get from him, right? Six five. Tension still around. Ravica. Kaziski takes down. One put in a flying from the back row. Travica. Here's Rafael. Juric. Pulled out. Rafael, Kaczynski. Right through the hands, that's why he was angry. Looking towards that news. At the gate wide open there. 7-7. Seven, seven. Big few points this. We go to the first technical, just one single point in it. But we had that bizarre, bizarre incidences where even the challenge system was read wrong. Very, very poor. And there surely has to be some sort of inquest investigation into that at the end. For now, has it given the spot to Hulk Bank? We shall see. So the tension building, the atmosphere still pretty electric in here. Mudzetsky with a good serve. Shahin digs it out. His balls are, Travitz are onto the ball. Brilliantly put home by Tetsukin. Combinations continue, they're playing some beautiful volleyball.
Rafael Juric. Ilinjic diving, can't keep it in. Important point for Hull Park. Cannot afford to really let a lead slip. We've seen what happens when they do that in the previous sets. Psychological damage done as well. Kravitsa. Rafael Juan Torreira. Turns up for duty. Nine all. Is Mauricio's float serve? Squeezes over, it's an ace. Hulk Bank can dream here. Red hot atmosphere inside. Right smile there from Mauricio. Tuchukin reception. Travitzer puts home. Good response by Juric. Can he put it away? He can. And now Hogbank lead. And this is getting serious. They're going to call timeout. Belgorje Belgorod call their players in. Shipulin not happy. He's still writhing about the decision. Most of the tactical planning going on on the Hulkbank bench. Belgoria Belgorod just wanted to stop the momentum building amongst the Turkish players. Those representing the Turkish team, I should say. There is Shipulin. There's a lot of volleyball to be played here. Pulls out. Shahin with a wayward ball. They're going to get it. Touch off at the net. Hulk Bank retain that lead. They're fighting hard here. The crowd still drumming away. The band still playing. Travitzer on two. Oh, it's read by Rafael Chancier now. Juric 
Oh, well taken down. Travitsa. Jurich is there now. Has he touched the net? They claim he's touched the net. And they're going to challenge. Now then, will the challenge system work? That's the question. He touched the net. Well, there you go. Two completely questionable decisions. Set up into Jurich. There was a touch. Off the three. Five it's up. Fifteen thirteen then. So much tension and confusion here. We've had the bizarre nature of the couple of challenges. Rafael Dzitski. Sixteen to thirteen. Just losing a little of its solidity in this set. And a couple go through the hands of Corsair as well. Hulkbank right back into this. So back we come. Nothing's calming down though here, I can promise you. This has been a cauldron of an atmosphere for a Champions League final. All is long. We're about to see a substitution. Back comes Tetukin. Away goes Kosarev. And this will now be Dmitry Ilinik. Bill Gorod. In danger of seeing that lead plummet here. Now, uh, what's happened here? Oh, he did touch. He did touch. Off the ankle of Durich. Poor, poor serve, but he got the ace. Finally, a right decision. Ilinik. Kazitsky. 
arms of the libero, Travitsa. Mudzetsky flying through. And they brought it back to in a single point here. Bizitsi, by the way, replaced by Chan Ivozulu. Chan coming in to try and get hold of reception. There's a timeout taken in the meantime. Hulkpan calling the players in, delaying the serve. It's a mightily confusing set. You just get a, a taste of what's at stake here. So much going on. with some smiles. He's, I'm sure, proud of the comeback that his boys have made. They made it difficult for Belgorod here. Well, they're under pressure again. It's a set they have to win, remember. Here's Modzewski. There's the take, Travica. Tetjukin, oh, it's off his head, big block from Mauricio. Turns up at just the right time. Time to turn that a set wide. around the antenna. Hogbank back to within three in front, and he's angered his teammate there. Bogomolov gave him a poor pass. And the coach calls them in. So, a good little period since the Hogbank time out there. Extended the lead of three again. Finding his way to G them up, Stoichev. He's happy with what's going on. Finding the difference between serious, harsh words, and happy, smiley jokes. He's been enough to relax his players. You know, there's enough expectation and tension as it is. He's been trying to do it all weekend, take the pressure off, lauding the achievements of the other coaches and talking about each and every team star player. Here's Travitsa. That is a huge hit from Bogomolov. Juan <laughs> Dorena reaches the highest. This is good from Hogback. They're a different team now. They're finding the confidence that we saw 24 hours ago. Nice setting from Rafael Juan Torena. Not quite as his super stellar best, but he's there or thereabouts. Travica. Him and is there. Now a couple of changes. We're about to see uh, Shigalov come on. Also on to the court is Bagre. Rosel and Travitsa make way.
Four point lead here. It's looking good to force a deciding set. Here's Rafael. Tetiukin. Juan Torena. Rafael again. Wonderful hit. Juan Torena. He's in the game now. Taking a while to wake up and get that. Rafael setting for him like a dream here. Bagre, reserve set it, putting it wide. Shigalov couldn't put it home. Juric, choice blocked off. That is Shigalov with a massive block. Good leap. What happened over here in the corner? Brilliantly handled. Get your in. Listen to that. Ace. Well, there's little doubt, really, that Tetsukin is on his way to MVP, whatever happens here. He has been wonderful this week. Top man in the two games he's played, little doubt about it. Second time out call by Hulk Bunk. They want to make sure they get that. She pulled in, says they've had three timeouts. It's just making sure. Well, after a couple of bizarre challenge system incidents, you can't blame him for not trusting them. It has been one of those strange sets. Everybody a little gobsmacked by what they've seen. No let up in the entertainment, though. These guys have enjoyed it. It's been a great spectacle this weekend. And there's still the most important deciding bit of volleyball to come. A likely decider. Hulkbank would really kick themselves if they were to blow this from here. Three points up. They need three to take it level. Block swell. And there's no time out to go for here for Hulkbank Kankara. They lead by two, but Tetchikin setting up another block with a good serve here. A little lucky with the net. And Bogomolov held his hand strong. Get your keen to go again. Ace! Well, did they just take that time out a little too early, you have to ask yourself. Juan Torena unable to touch. Too hot to handle. Both crowds getting vocal. Special, special atmosphere. One point separates them. Hugbank just need to side this ball out. Tetsukin. Just avoids the roof. Juan Torena, Tetsukin's there. Bagre now into the corner. Again, just avoids the roof. Durich. Counter chance, Bagri into the corner, not the greatest of sets, but it's hit home. My, oh my. From three down to level in the blink of an eye. In the meantime, Stoichev is going to challenge. Now then. Jurab Mokri has had a busy, busy afternoon going back and forth to the challenge video. Worried Russian players look at the bench for us. They look over here. They're looking to see the pictures that we ourselves can't see in the commentary box. That area fenced off. Now let's see. And the point stands, it is in. It was in, no touch on the block. Or is there? Certainly not with the hands anyway. Well, 
22 all, Storchev. Petrik in. Nuri Shahin plays it when he could have left it. Juric into the corner, there's a touch, and here we go. Big point of the match now, Shigalov is blocked off. Bagre into the corner, Ilinjic. We are witnessing something truly special. No timeout, Storchev has blown them all too early. And Belgorje Belgorod are now in the box seat to win the Champions League. They were four points down, believe it or not. Tetsuyakin just out, but what a period. 23 all. He signalled over that he wanted a challenge, but I think the coach told him that it was out. That is the correct decision. Twenty-three each. Turkish team need the crowd here. Juan Torena. Good serve. Here's Shigalov having to set. Needs a good contact. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, it looks out. They say touch. They cry touch. The Turkish team cannot believe it. Now then, here's the look. There's the hit. Does it take the touch? Just about, yep. Takes the touch. Match point, championship point, Champions League point. Rafael into the corner. There's the block. Oh, it is just wide. They thought for a nanosecond that they had it. Back to 24 each. Hot stopping stuff in Ankara. Imri has to get it right. Oh dear, and it's another match for Jets. Substitutions. And back come the big boys. Georgi Kosa and Dragan Travica replacing Zhigalov and Bagre. They've done a good job since they came in. But it's Travitzer to take the serve and serving for the Champions League. It's been a decade since they won it. The dreams of Halpine and Kanka that were much talked about could well be about to be shattered. Kaczynski having a set for Juric in the corner, it's come back. Rafael, brilliantly made by Kaczynski, that is a captain's touch if you ever saw one. And the second max point goes a begging. Matej Kaczynski, that is quality. Juric to the line at 25 all. Or will it be? Hussein Koch brought in two setters on here. Hussein to take the serve. And he wants something special now, wants the crowd behind him. Floats it in, that's all they wanted, Travitzer, Corsa, locked out, there'll be a third Champions League winning point. In the meantime, back will come Juric, Hussein did his job. They just wanted that ball in, make the opposition play, test their nerves. Look what it means to Corsa. Dimitri Linyik is here to be the hero. People in ten years since he won this. Nuri Shahim with a good reception. Kaczynski blocked off and Korza makes the kill block that wins them the Champions League. No Turkish volleyball history tonight. It's all about Belgori Belgorod. Ten years exactly since they last won the competition. They are European champions for the third time. And not even a dodgy challenge system could stop them. They've had great support all night. Hard work and hard lines on the Turkish team who gave their all. 
Hulkbank outplayed in the end, outmuscled and outpowered. You have to say even out for Belgoria Belgorod by far and away the strongest team we've seen this weekend. Georgi Horza, well, he looks a special player. He's been around for a long time, but he has hit the heights here in European volleyball and finds himself winning the European Champions League. So many heroes, Travitsa, Tichukin, possibly, most probably MVP, you would have to say. Mudzetsky so strong as well. And it has been a wonderful, wonderful season for Belgoria Belgorod. Their supporters know that they have produced the performance of a lifetime this weekend. The chance of a lifetime for Holbein Kanker has come and perhaps gone. We will see if the money continues to be poured in, if they carry on with such the strong team here. This was the opportunity to bring a men's Champions League title to under Turkey. Belgoria Belgorod, they have to be applauded as the winners. They've been fantastic. They go off to celebrate with their supporters. The Champions League is theirs. And the final act of the European volleyball season was that mammoth block from Georgie Forza. She pulled in, ready to celebrate. He's a happy chappy. They are going to have a very enjoyable trip back home to Russia. So over the third year in succession, the Champions League is Russian. The cries of Shipulin, Shipulin. Three sets to one there, the score's 27 to 25 in that final set. And you have to say for Hulkbank, just not enough of their star performers turned up on the afternoon. Rafael setting well enough towards the end. Osmani Juan Torena missing in action for most of the match. Turic gave his all. Kazitsky, yes, some big moments, but not as consistent as he likes to be. Celebrations in the meantime go on in the stats. Best opportunity, perhaps, that Nuri Shahin will ever have of lifting the Champions League. But you have to say, after this, the right team has won today. The best team we've had all weekend. And the celebrations begin in earnest. Shipulin, for a third time, is a winner of the European Cup. Storchev, not to be for him. And Dimitri Muzetsky. Finally, it hits him. The gravity, the enormity of the achievement. As the disappointment for those who haven't managed to pull off the win continues to grow. Oh, Juan Torino will wonder what happened. They will continue to party late into the Turkish night. The likes of Mitar Juric, still early in his career, he will get another chance, surely. Well, for Belgoria Belgorod, they will enjoy the moment, they will go back to Russia victorious, the best team in Europe, the best team this weekend. And they will ready themselves for the final presentation. We will bring that to you in a while. For now, though, from Ankara, we bid you goodbye. Thanks for watching. And, of course, we will see you for the presentation. It finishes here, 3-1. Ankara lose at home, but Belgoria Belgorod are the champions of the Denise Bank CV Champions League.